Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Real True Divine Feminine and I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is this right here. Someone who stole some money that was for you in 2002 is now going bankrupt. Their house is in foreclosure and they having to sell all their assets in their property. You will be notified soon by the authorities concerning this. They had forged your signature. Something to do with a credit union and some credit fraud. Whoever this person is, they, they know that they are guilty. and They cannot face you for what they did. They stole the money that somebody had left from you. Either somebody left this money from you or somebody did a check from you or whatever and they forged your signature and forged your name. But whoever this person is, their house is in foreclosure right now. They are selling their house. It is in foreclosure. They're trying to sell it. It's bad. They also are selling their assets off to get off stuff for what they done to you. Authorities will be contacting you because of this and this person will have to pay you back every dime that they have and this person is not going to have the money and they will go to jail. This person will go to jail for stealing this money from you. This wasn't no little bit of money either. This was a lot of money to put you where you needed to be so you could be set. This was a gift from somebody to you and this person either the person that took it either is their family member or someone that knew them and knew that they were leaving the money to you and they took the money. Well whoever this person is their ass is going to jail. There's no way around this and everybody that's involved in the financial institution that took that that knew about that you wasn't the person that this money was for, they're all going to jail. And it's gonna be a group of people. I seen like two women and two men going to jail all with this this situation right here fraud identity identity death a uh, bank what is it called some of the institution of bank misuse of an institution of bank something like that it's like a group of charges <clears throat> that these people will be facing and like I said whoever this person is their house is in floor closure foreclosure their house is in foreclosure and they steady selling stuff out of their house out of a storage out of everything that they're, they're getting rid of antique stuff to try to make the money to sell this stuff back but it's not going to happen you will get notified about this whoever this message is for whoever you are you will get notified about this situation real real soon about the misjustice that has been done to you uh concerning money that was left for you. I believe somebody donated this money to you and it was in your name and somebody else took it or somebody left something in a wheel or something. I'm really what happened? Somebody passed away and left you some money. And this person left you some money. Their child, huh? Their child is the one who stole the money from you. Wow. The child is the one that forged your signature and every their, their biological child forged your signature and did all the rest of this and took the money that their parent left from you. They felt like it wasn't fair. Wow. They felt like it wasn't fair that you was getting all this money. This person have a, a, a major gambling problem. Who lost this? They have maxed out 12 credit cards I'm hearing. They like to buy jewelry. Only you know who this person would be. They like to buy jewelry. Nice house. Wigs. Oh, wigs. Take trips. Say that this person was taking trips all across the world with your money, going on cruises, bought a new vehicle, and everything with money that was left for you. And this person thought they would never get caught, but this person is now caught. This person is now being caught. I don't know, something happened.
something happened and this is why this person is being caught somebody went looking over some paperwork a new hold on hold on a new what is it a new supervisor came on and you know how you go over uh, paperwork every quarterly or whatever that's right every quarterly you go over paperwork this person was new at the place it's a uh, what Southwest Credit Union huh CWC It's, it's South something South something credit union I'm seeing that It's South something credit union And this person Had a friend Or an old classmate Or something that worked there And they forged your signature And they, they got a, everybody got a piece of the pie But you Nobody got the money And this person who This person's child Who took the money from you Is into gambling Ordering stuff off of what? JT Home, JTC, some a jewelry channel online. JTC, I'm seeing it on the TV. A JTC, and they used to ordering stuff and doing all this, but they did it all with your money. And you are about to find this out. Information is about to come to you. This person is going to jail. I don't know who this message is for, but I pray it reach who it need to reach, and I pray it help who it need to help. I just got so much keep coming to me right now. And. Oh this person is going to come to you. And try to plead their case. And act like they didn't know it was for you. And apologize and say they sorry. And this and that. But it's out of your hand. The state will pick up the charges. Whoever this this is for. This is going this, this to gonna go federal. That's all I'm going to say. This, this case is going to go federal. Whoever this message is for. Okay. 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 Peace.